Hey guys, I made a high side table and I incorporated maple leaves for fall. I also used the maple leaves to make a wall mirror with matching wall sconces a while back and the link will be in the description box below. I love the way the leaves look and I decided to just use them to decorate a side table. Now to start with the project, I got wooden dowels from Walmart. And these are the specifications for the dowels. And I got four. And I spray painted them silver. I also got three 8x10 photo frames from the Dollar Tree. And then I took out the back support and then all the other parts of the frame that I won't be needing. This is a leftover wallpaper that I have, and now I'm going to measure it, cut it out, and put it in one of the frames. I'm going to be gluing the dolls on the photo frame, and before that, I reduced the length from 36 inches to 28 inches using the saw that I got from the Dollar Tree. And guys, this next step is really important. You'd have to apply a generous amount of E6000 glue or any strong adhesive that you have and ask for help to hold it while you position items around it to keep it in place. I put mine to lean on a sofa while I added extra heavy items to position the dolls properly and left it overnight to dry. The next day, I stacked items at the bottom to give me my desired height and then I placed the roller on top to hold the second frame. And because it was gauged properly, I only added a third frame and it was a perfect fit. Now that I have all of my frames in place, I'm going to use a strong adhesive at the corners where the frame meets with the wood. This is a piece of wood that has been cut to size and I'm going to be gluing it at the top making sure that it's glued on the four dowels. To hold the glue to make sure that it doesn't drip down and to also act as a stopper, I'm going to be using silver beads. I cut a singular strip from my mosaic mirror sheet and I will be using it to cover up the rough edges of the wood. I got this mirror from the Dollar Tree and I detached the mirror from the frame and I will be gluing it on top of the wood. Because of the sharp edges, I will be using mirror mosaic tiles on all the four corners. I got this maple leaf from the Dollar Tree and I spray painted them silver. And I'm going to be gluing them in between the frames to add to the design. I'm going to use two for the front and then one on both sides. I glued a short singular strip of the mosaic tiles on the maple leaves so that it will be easy for me to glue it to the dowels. When I was done, I glued mirrors on them. I'm going to be using 10 inches embroidery hoop and cutting it into two and spray painting it silver. And that's what I'm going to be using to form a design at the lower parts of the high side table. I'm using hot glue for this for now. And after that, I'm going to go around with an E6000 glue. So I glued two at the top and two at the bottom. And then I added mirrors. I repeated the same steps for the back. I added mirror mosaic sheets around all of the frames and added little mirrors around the edges and also used gems on some part of the leaves and also at the tips of all the embroidery hoops. I'm going to be gluing just one push light inside the design right here. And this is what the overall design looks like. I love the way this high side table looks like and it's something I definitely will pick up if I see it in a store.
because of the vase that I have on the table, I remembered a turquoise green wall frame that I got from the Dollar Tree a while back and covered up the frame with mirror mosaic tiles. And this is what it looks like. I just wanted something to complement the color to go side by side with it. And I love the way it looks. I love the way the maple leaves look on the side table and I also love the way I incorporated them into this design also. The link is going to pop up here at the top right and it's also going to be in the description box below. The back has no maple leaves so that's easy access for the lighting. And then both sides are open for me to place anything I want inside. This high side table is sturdy enough to carry heavy decor items and I am so pleased with the way it looks. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this idea and remember to like and share. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.